Christian Parenting. This podcast is proudly part of the Christian Parenting Podcast Network. Christian Parenting's mission is to equip parents with the tools they need to confidently raise the next generation of culture-changing Christians. And right now, that feels more important than ever. We would love for you to join us in this crucial mission by joining our community of monthly donors. Monthly donations are essential to ministries like Christian Parenting because they help to plan well for the year ahead and create the best content possible. Content like this podcast, printed products, digital guides, and online articles. Your recurring gift, whether $5, $10, $25, or $50 a month, will help Christian parenting reach even more parents around the world, encouraging them to be the perfectly imperfect parents God created them to be. To set up your recurring gift, you can go to cpgive.org. That's cpgive.org. Thank you for your support and your partnership. Hello and welcome to the Truth Seekers Podcast. Today's episode is part of our Praying the Bible series. Each month we read a passage from the Bible and learn how to pray it back to God. Have you ever struggled with knowing what to say to God when you pray? Sometimes we don't always know how to pray or what to pray when we're talking to God. The good news is that God has given us the Bible, and the Bible is filled with all kinds of truths that we can pray back to God. When we are afraid or at a loss and don't know how or what to pray, we can turn to the Bible to give us truths that we can stand on and believe in when we pray to God. In today's Praying the Bible episode, we are going to once again listen to a sermon that Jesus gave when he was here on earth. This sermon is called the Sermon on the Mount because Jesus spoke these words to his disciples and crowds of people who were listening while he was up on a mountainside. We are specifically going to listen to Jesus' first part of the sermon, where he gives us what are called the Beatitudes. Can you say Beatitudes? The word Beatitude comes from a Latin word that means blessedness. To be blessed is a good thing. Blessing refers to God's favor and protection and provision over us. Jesus spoke about the blessings for those who would follow him and serve him and give their whole lives to obey him. The Beatitudes are a list of those blessings. I'm going to read the blessings or the Beatitudes that Jesus spoke during his Sermon on the Mount. In our last Praying the Bible episode, we learned about the first six Beatitudes. Today, we are going to finish up learning about the Beatitudes, and we're going to learn the final two Beatitudes that Jesus gave us. Before we do that, I want to read the whole passage again so we can be reminded of all that Jesus said in the Beatitudes. Let's read what Jesus had to say in Matthew 5, 1 through 12. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Dear True Seekers, as you listen to the words of Jesus, did you hear all of the blessings Jesus spoke? Do you remember how many blessings Jesus listed here? In total, there are eight Beatitudes, and before we pray, I want us to think about the final two Beatitudes that we heard today. To begin, let's focus on the seventh Beatitude. Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. As children of God, we are part of the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God is not one of fighting and arguing and division, but rather, the kingdom of God is one of righteousness, peace, and joy. We are the peacemakers. We are the ones who can keep the peace in the midst of life storms. When those around us are walking through hard times or things seem chaotic or out of control, the Holy Spirit living inside of us will help us to be peace to those who need it. Since we have the answer, we know the truth. We have the good news of the gospel. 
we can have peace that everything is under God's control in our lives as we put our faith in Him. Peace will come as we put our full trust in Jesus, and then we can share that peace with others. In all situations, even with those we might disagree with, we are called to keep the peace, to be peacemakers. Next, let's look at the eighth and final beatitude. Jesus said, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Friends, to be persecuted for your faith means to be treated cruelly or unfairly because you believe in Jesus. There will be times when you might face persecution from those who hate Jesus and hate his word. There is a real evil out there, but we should not be afraid of persecution or suffering. God has said that through our suffering, if we persevere, we will receive the crown of life, eternal life. The kingdom of God is promised to those who endure through persecution. God has not promised that life would be easy, but he has promised that he will be with us when we walk through hard times. Keep your chin up if you are made fun of for believing in Jesus. Don't let that get you down. God has promised a great reward to those who are treated poorly because of their faith. No amount of persecution or suffering can keep us from the love of God. We are his children, and we can trust that God works all things together for good to them that love him and are called according to his purpose. Let's review before we pray the final two Beatitudes promised to us that Jesus gave us. He said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Great job, truth seekers. Now that we know what to pray about, we can pray to God. And if you didn't know what to pray about before, now you have many things you can pray to God about. I want you to listen as I pray back to Jesus the three Beatitudes that we just read about. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the promises that you gave to us. Help us as we strive to be peacemakers for your kingdom. Help us to bring peace to those who are hurting and confused. Help us to keep our peace in trying and difficult situations. And Jesus, we know that you have not promised that this life will be easy, but help us when we walk through suffering and persecution, because you have promised that you will always be with us, just as you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were persecuted, and you walked in the fire with them. So you will be with us. Help us not to be afraid of standing for you, even when others around us might be making fun of us or laughing at us, because we know the truth, and the truth is that you are real, you are good, and you have saved us for eternal life. In your name we pray, amen. All right, before we go, I just want to give a shout out to Melissa and Marcos Cardenas. They left this uh, review over on Facebook. They said, we've slowly been getting through True Seekers Bible Stories for Kids podcast, We are over halfway to catching up. This has been such a blessing to me and for the kids. It's an awesome biblical podcast that teaches us straight from God's word. We pause it often to review things, kids to ask questions, etc. Gabby really enjoys it and asks for it and has lots of good questions during it. Today's Praying the Bible session was so uplifting and a great reminder of loving God's word and the importance of being in the word often. The last three Praying Through the Bible sessions have been over Psalms 119, and we are discussing how it's broken into 23 segments according to the Hebrew alphabet. We have learned the first six so far. I'm looking forward to each one. Anyways, if you are looking for a great podcast to do with your kids, look into this one. Learn the Hebrew alphabet with us as we go through Psalm 119. If you see my kids, ask them to tell you what letters of the Hebrew alphabet they have learned. Well, I love that. I love that you guys are making your way through Psalm 119. I get a lot of feedback from those um, Praying the Bible episodes when we went through the Hebrew alphabet about how um, so many people just love learning the Hebrew alphabet and the letters and going through that psalm. So I love to hear that in that you're still listening to it and that um, you're still enjoying that and learning from it. So thank you so much for sharing that. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me this week. And I look forward to our time together next week.